much for inviting me. Can you can you hear me? Yes, perfect. Okay. So I will share the screen. I prepare a few slides just to okay. So um uh, so I, as, as I was presented, um, I'm the coordinator of uh, an Horizon 2020 project that is entitled uh, uh, Eva Belt. Um, the, um, the, the, the title of the project is uh, Linking East and West African uh, um, Systems, Farming System Experience into a Belt of Sustainable Intensification. Here are some numbers of the project. So uh, really the, the project is dealing with uh, uh, the agricultural sector and uh, uh, is, uh, the ultimate goal is uh, to achieve uh, and to promote food security in uh, uh, African countries. Uh, and in fact, uh, the, um, uh, the, the call uh, was on sustainable intensification in Africa. We are. Uh, we started uh, like seven, eight months ago, uh, the first of October, 2020, and um, the project will last 48 months. Uh, we are 20 partners, eight from Europe and 12 from Africa, and uh, we already identified the 38 case study areas. So here is a. Um, that the, there is a representation, a graphical representation of the countries uh, that are involved. Uh, you see from the, uh, the west region, uh, Ghana, Burkina Faso, and Sierra Leone, and from the eastern region of Africa, Ethiopia, Kenya, and Tanzania. Uh, so the idea is really to create this uh, uh, belt uh, um, uh, linking the west to the region, um, to the east region of Africa. Uh, the overall objective is, in fact, to develop a food production systems that are promoting sustainable intensification. So sustainable intensification is a key, a key concept um, in farming systems uh, using uh, several approaches. And I will uh, highlight this presentation part particularly on the ICT tools uh, and platforms that we would like to uh, develop. And uh, at the end, to realize an interregional African belt able to promote a sustainable intensification by assessing the, and exchanging best practices and experiences among these uh, different contexts. So uh, the sustainable intensification is, in fact, uh, a, a key concept um, in, uh, in the project. Uh, that is uh, strongly related to food security. In fact, the idea is, uh, uh, you see here the FAO definition of sustainable intensification, that is production systems and crop management technologies that are uh, aiming to increase productivity without adverse effects. Adverse effects in terms of environment, but also in terms of uh, human and animal uh, health. Uh, so why sustainable intensification? Why is it so important to increase uh, um, uh, productivity? Uh, here you see, for example, uh, the um, representation of the yield gap. So the difference between uh, the, uh, uh, the yield, the potential yield that is uh, possible to achieve in the um, uh, with the, the environmental and uh, uh, agronomic and agricultural conditions and the actual yield. You see, for example, that there are uh, some uh, of the countries that are involved in the project that uh, um, are suffering a huge yield gap, uh, up to more than the 10 tons per hectare less than the potential gap, than the potential yield. So this uh, uh, is, of course, uh, causing a, a, a very important uh, um, food insecurity uh, issue and also is strongly related to poverty. Um, so how we would like to um, deal uh, with this uh, sustainable intensification in African um, uh, farming systems? 
uh, using several approaches where the ICT uh, approach is really the core of the project. Here there is a, a representation, visual representation of ICT in farming cycle, um, where you see uh, several phases of the farming cycle, the pre-cultivation, the uh, cultivation and the post harvest and uh, um, it's true that uh, we are working in during several of these uh, uh, phases for example it's very important the crop selection in eva belt it's very important all the uh, phases of the crop culti cultivation and harvesting the land preparation and sowing the input management the water management the soil management and it's very important also the pest management as i will uh, say uh, later uh, and then uh, we have also the uh, use of ICT tools for reducing post-harvest losses. In fact, a part of this yield gap uh, is also related not only to the pre-harvest uh, losses, so during the farming cycle itself, but uh, are much more related also on the packaging, fruit, food processing, processing the, the storage of the food, uh, that um, contribute to uh, um, an important loss of, uh, of food um, items. So, uh, for example, uh, we are using ICT enabled learning and knowledge exchange and also networking solutions because we want, we are uh, already in the phase uh, of the development of these farmers field research units that are really a, a platform, platforms, a community of practices where people, stakeholders are involved in an iterative dialogue uh, in a way that uh, um, is oriented to uh, achieve uh, food, more food security uh, for the uh, rural communities. So it's a very farmer and, and farming system centered. Uh, and uh, um, uh, we are using uh, a, a strong participatory approach. Um, so the farmer field research units are co-learning spaces that are physical or virtual, where research, restoration, innovation, demonstration, education, extensions, and capacity building are being realized and implemented. Uh, but uh, also we are using uh, um, uh, this concept uh, uh, of the plant head network that is uh, uh, really a digital platform. Uh, so we are uh, using also uh, these uh, um, so modeling solutions uh, and uh, also um, this network, uh, uh, ICT enables networking solutions. In fact, the idea is uh, to create uh, this uh, um, kind of network uh, where there are several uh, um, um, end users, uh, mainly the farmers, and then service providers. So the basic idea is that uh, the, an end user that is a farmer is uh, using a, an app, um, uh, taking a picture and uh, filling a, a very easy form sending this kind of information of uh, uh, pests and disease uh, uh, issues, uh, like this one, for example, uh, to um, several uh, um, service providers at different levels, local, regional, national, and also international level. And uh, um, uh, these, all these uh, service providers are checking, uh, analyzing the information, the pictures, and are sending back uh, diagnosis uh, using also um, a, an artificial intelligence machine learning approach that is uh, learning every time is used. Um, and then um, going back to the end user, providing uh, a specific solution to the uh, to the pests or diseases that that are in place, 
um, then uh, we want to use and also to, to create a, a, a strong combination with this uh, plant, plant head network, a digital platform, we want to use ICT-based tools for detection and quantification of plant pests and pathogens. For example, this cold scope that is a very low cost, is less than one dollar, a paper microscope that is designed to be portable and durable, and that uh, is, uh, gives uh, optical quality uh, similar to conventional microscopes. And uh, uh, this, uh, so the, the end user, uh, the farmer, can also take a picture using this fold scope uh, because it's uh, really, it's uh, very easily combined to mobile cameras. And then um, also uh, we have the IST microelectronics that is one of the partners of our uh, partnership in uh, the Eva Bell project that are developing within the project is uh, uh, and other very interesting ICT based tools to detect and quantify plant and pest pathogens. And as for example, this uh, Kufri system, Lab on Chip quantitative real time PCR. Um, so to, to have really a real-time diagnosis in a very um, uh, fast way, um, uh, useful also for um, to be implemented in the plant head network. Um, then other ICT approaches, for example, uh, this is uh, the, for the part of the post harvest uh, during the, sto um, the, the storage of the food. Uh, for example, real time CO2 monitoring in grain silos uh, to minimize the mycotoxin contamination, for example. This could be very important, for example, to develop a decision support system in order to intervene before the damage is going to be ir um, um, irreversible. Uh, yeah, I think that, that's it. I, I, I just wanted to, to give you a, a very brief uh, overview of the ICT uh, heart of this project. Uh, and if you want more information, you can uh, have a look to the website uh, and also write to these uh, uh, email addresses. So thanks a lot.